Welcome back guys. We are going to show you a protection detail. It's a new package that we've designed to be very cost effective. We're going to run through what's involved literally from start to finish. This is one of our personal cars. It's a Japan Red 1 of 30 M Performance Edition E92 M3s. It was detailed about three years ago, but since then it's not had as much love and care as it should do. So it's been swelled now, it's got a lot of marring, but this is just to give you a good idea of what a protection package includes, what it's gonna look like from start to finish. And yeah, so we're gonna run for a list starting with full safe wash, chemical decon, so we're not actually gonna clay the car, we're gonna use tar and iron removal just to get the paintwork as clean as possible because if we do clay the car, this package doesn't include any machine polishing, so if we do clay it, it's gonna mar the paint and we don't wanna do that. So it's a very basic package, but gives you protection all over. That includes giving a layer of wax on the car, ceramic coat the wheel faces, and put a glass sealant on all the windows as well. So stick around, we're gonna start now. We're gonna start with obviously wheels first and arches, and then we'll move on to the bodywork. So we're gonna move on to pre-rinsing the wheels and the arches. So we're using a acid-free wheel cleaner. So we're just gonna give them a light mist, rinse them down, and then move on to iron. So now we've pre-rinsed the wheels and the arches, we're gonna move on to using our iron fallout remover on the wheels. That way it will remove any iron contaminants, make it extremely clean, ready for ceramic coating when we move the car inside. And we're gonna also use Gion, Gion tire cleaner um, to remove the old tire shine. So when we get the car inside, we apply a new tire shine, it lasts much longer. So now we've applied the wheel cleaner. We've just put a layer of snow foam on top just to give us an indication of what we've cleaned. And as you can see, all the purple reacting with any iron that's on the wheels. So now we're gonna go ahead, use a, quite a few wheel brushes just to get into the barrels, give the calipers a clean, and then use a smaller brush to get into the harder to, to reach areas. Give the tires a scrub down and then use a wash mitt at the end just for any bits that we missed. So now we've done the wheels and the arches, we're going to move on to the engine bay. Uh, the reason why we do the engine bay first is because there will be loads of debris flying everywhere, but we'll remove any leaves that are sitting around, cover any important areas that don't need to be soaked with water, and then we'll put an engine bay dressing on, and then we'll wipe it down once the car's been cleaned and moved inside. Engine bay complete, we put a dressing on it, so that's gonna dry in there. Um, we're now gonna move on to the exterior of the car. We're gonna use a citrus cleaner, rinse it down, put a layer of snow foam, get our brushes back out and go around all the gaps.
so snow foam's done. We used a random selection of brushes to go around all the cracks, all the door jams, and now we're moving on to two bucket wash method. We're using a degreasing shampoo to remove any old protection on the car. So that way when we put the wax on, it sticks to the paintwork and lasts a lot longer. So as you've seen guys, we've done the two bucket wash method. We've done the tar removal. So that's literally spraying tar remover, wiping it down with a cloth, removing any tar deposits on the paintwork. They're the little black dots that you see. And last product that we just sprayed was iron fallout on the whole entire car. And we just put a layer of snow foam to help it work in and pull the, pull the product off the car. We're gonna give it a final rinse get it dried, blow dry it, move it inside, and then we're gonna wax the car, ceramic coat the wheels, put glass sealant on, and then we'll move on to the interior. So guys, car's inside now. You just saw us dry the car. We used our air blower to get rid of any trapped water. Now we've got the car inside. We're just using Geon Prep, which is a degreaser, wiping the whole car down. Then we're gonna move on to waxing. Eddie at the moment is just working in the dressing on the engine bay. So we'll show you end shots of that. I'm gonna start degreasing the wheels so they get ready for ceramic coating. Once that's all done, put a layer of tire shine, move on to the interior. As you've seen guys, car is now complete. We've done wheel coating, glass coating. The wheel coating and the glass we use from Carbon Collective. 
That's platinum wheels on all the wheel faces, platinum glass on all the glass. The interior, we've done a light leather wipe, we cleaned all the plastics. This got Alcantara steering wheel. Hasn't been cleaned in a while, so it has been neglected, but we've given it a freshen up. But this video was to show you guys what's included in our protection detail. Protection detail starts from 250 pound. That starts from a Polo, Golf, up to a three series and then moving into the next price bracket which is your five series size vehicles and then to your seven series size vehicles it's 250 pound for the, the polo to three series five series onwards is 300 pounds after that it's 350 pounds they are fixed prices um, if you are interested in getting your car done, drop us an email at info at berkeley.co.uk. Also, you can drop us a DM via Instagram page on Berkeley Detailing, or you're more than welcome to call us if you have any questions. We hope you enjoyed this video. We've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel.